Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Vasant Desai from Government First Aid College, Kolkata. In this video, I am going to explain you how to define the cardinal points of thick lens. Before defining the cardinal points of thick lens, let us define the thick lens. A thick lens is a large lens having two spherical surfaces separated by a distance which is not negligible when compared to area of curvature of spherical surfaces. Or we can define the thick lens as a thick lens is a lens whose thickness cannot be small as compared to its focal length. Now let us define the cardinal points of the thick lens. Here you have to take one spherical surface and another spherical surface. So this is a thick lens with two spherical surfaces of radii of curvature R1 and R2. Here T is the thickness of a lens, it is thickness of a thick lens, it is the principal axis, PQ is the incident light, it is incident at Q on the first spherical surface, it refracts from the first spherical surface along QR and emerges along RS and we know that the light ray which cuts the principal axis at point F1 is called first focal point. I have to draw a plane which is passing through the focal point and perpendicular to the principal axis is called first focal plane. Now we define the first focal point and first focal plane. Extrapolate the incident light in the forward direction, emergent light in the backward direction, those meet at the point H1. At the point H1, we have to draw a normal which is perpendicular to the principal axis. This you have to draw a plane which is passing through H1 and perpendicular to principal axis. That plane cuts the principal axis and the point P1. This is the first principal point of the thick lens and the distance between first focal point and first principal point is the focal length of the thick lens. Now in this diagram we have defined the first focal point F1, first principal point P1, first focal plane and first principal play. Now you let us define the second focal point and the second principal point. We have to take the two spherical surfaces. Small letter T is the thickness of a lens of the principal axis. P Q is the incident light. And QR is the refracted light from the first spherical surface. RF2 is the emergent light. But F2 meets the principal axis. And this is the second focal point. And at the second focal point, we have to draw a plane which is passing through F2 and perpendicular to the principal axis. It's called second focal plane. 
we have to extrapolate the PQ for the incident light in the forward direction, F2R in the backward direction, the beta at the point H2, at point H2 we have to draw the plane which is passing through H2 and perpendicular to principal axis. That plane cuts the principal axis at the point P2. P2 is called second principal point. And the distance between second principal point and second focal point is called focal length of the thick lens. So here we have defined two focal points, two principal points and their corresponding planes. Now let us come by the all the diagrams and locate two focal points, principal points and all the planes in one diagram. So we have take two spherical surface E is the pole of the first spherical surface, D is the pole of the second spherical surface, T is the thickness of the spherical surface, is the principal axis, P Q is the incident light, R is the refracted light, RF2 is the emergent light from the second spherical surface. F2 is second focal point and the second focal point we have to draw a plane, it's focal, second focal plane, example P2 in the forward, F2 R in the backward, the meet at point H2, at point H2 we have to draw a plane, perpendicular to the principal axis and it cuts the principal axis at point P2, it's called second principal point. The distance between second principal point and second focal point is called focal length of the thick lens. And PQ is the incident light here. QR is the refracted light. RS is the emergent light. Now this is the F1 is the first focal point and at first focal point we have dry normal which is passing through F1 and perpendicular to principal axis is called first focal plane. Extrapolate SH2 in the backward direction, PQ in the forward direction. It meets the meets at point H1. At point H1 we have to draw the plane perpendicular to principal axis. It meets the principal axis at point P1. And we know the R distance between F1 and P1 is the focal length of the thick lens. And here I have to remember H2 is the image of H1. H1 and H2 are the conjugate points. H1, P1 and H2, P2 are called as conjugate planes. H1, P1 is equal to H2, P2. Therefore, the magnification is 2, P2 by H1, P1 is equal to unit. That's why it's called unit cause to lateral magnification. Even the complex optical system has only two principal planes. Between H1 and H2, all rays are parallel to the principal axis. Principal planes are conjugate to each other. In this session, we'll learn how to define the cardinal points of the thick lens. In the next video, well, I'm going to explain you how to find the, how to derive the focal length of a thick lens. Thanks for watching.